with a verdict in a closely watched case of bar brawl that spilled out onto the streets with deadly results. The young man charged with murder claiming it was all a terrible accident. The tension in the courtroom thick when jurors delivered their decision and ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with all the details. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Rebecca and Dan. Jurors in this case had to decide if Keenan Gay, a former University of North Carolina football player, meant to kill a man who had allegedly groped his then girlfriend or if it was all just a tragic accident. This morning, former college football player Keenan Gay is a free man, acquitted of second degree murder in the 2012 death of Robert Kingston after a bar scuffle turned deadly. In a press conference after Friday's verdict, Gay's father calling it all a tragedy. There are no winners in this case, which in the Kingston family has lost a loved one and we're all sorry for that. But thankful for his son's new freedom. Keenan has been living under a, a dark cloud for a little over two years. What I said to him was that you've got your life back. On the stand last week, Gay, a 25-year-old law student, said he never meant to hurt or kill 30-year-old Robert Kingston. Gay testifying he pushed Kingston to protect his girlfriend, who is now his wife, from Kingston's aggressive advances. But prosecutors argued Gay intentionally shoved Kingston out of the bar and into oncoming traffic. Gay's attorney arguing an inebriated Kingston stumbled into the street and was hit and killed by a car. Oh my God, I just ran over somebody. He was right in front of me. After about nine hours of deliberation, jurors found Gay not guilty on all charges. Just because a jury found him not guilty doesn't necessarily mean that they believed him. It means that they did not believe that there was proof beyond a reasonable doubt to convict him. The Kingston family reportedly taking the verdict hard, silent as they left the court. Do you feel justice was served? Well, surveillance video from the bar was expected to be crucial in this trial, but the public has not seen that footage since no cameras were allowed in court. The trial looks like the end of two terrible years for both families. But Dan and Rebecca, as our legal expert Dan Abrams points out, it is possible that Kingston's family could bring a civil suit, which has a lower burden of proof. All right, lower burden of proof. Uh, thank you very much.